The reason why a community of coaches can be so powerful is if you each see a scenario that you're all going through, or maybe one of you is going through, that can serve as a playbook for someone else. And just being open-minded to treating all of those cases as learning opportunities, whether it's a client case or someone just has a question about something they read in a book or watched in a video, kind of reining in your ego in that sense and questioning if you can get better at a thing. I don't think that's all bad. I do think we need to manage it so that it doesn't inhibit us from serving our clients or showing up for our audience. You do have to overcome that to a degree and immersing yourself in the material. Think about your client the first time they went in the gym and they had to do squat or a deadlift or a push up. It's not like they were perfect the first time they had to do rep. I think having a spotter for doing the reps, so to use the analogy, never really bench press and it's like your third time, it would be smart to have a spotter for that set. Same thing with a functional health case. If you're a little bit newer, having a spotter like a mentor or a coach or someone training you can help you execute it in a safer fashion, just like training in the gym.